Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the delicious cooking series. Today we're doing something very different from our normal usual videos. As you can see behind me, I have lots and lots of kitchen appliances. I recently went on an online shopping spree on Amazon because I wanted to upgrade my kitchen. At the beginning of the year, I thought to myself, Winifred, I think you deserve some brand new kitchen appliances that I've actually eyed for a while. And then I decided, you know what, I'm going to spend some good money and buy these things for myself because they actually really come in handy in the kitchen. So when the products arrived, I wanted to go ahead and unbox it off camera. But then I thought, why not share the experience with you guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you all of the things that I got, why I got them, their uses, their benefits, and I'll also show you, give you some tips on how to shop effectively so that you do not spend so much money. And also how you can save up to buy some of the kitchen appliances that you require. I tell you, having these kitchen appliances in the kitchen makes life a whole lot easier and makes cooking a whole lot stress-free. So these are a must-have in your kitchen. All right, enough talking. Enough talking. Let's get right into this unboxing action. So the very first item I'll be unboxing is my brand new air fryer. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I'm super duper excited about this air fryer. Like, I have been waiting for it all my life. Those of you who have been watching my channel for a while now would know that I am totally all about the Fit Fam life. This air fryer is a winner in my kitchen. I would like to add that this video is not sponsored by any brand whatsoever. This is just me showing you all of the things and items that I use, and I'm also going to recommend them to you and share the links with you at the end. Of the video and in the description box down below so that you can purchase them if you want to purchase them it's not sponsored by any brand whatsoever i just had to say that all right so let's get into the unboxing of this air fryer shall we you guys gonna go ahead and open it now so for those of you who do not know what an air fryer is an air fryer is basically an appliance that you can use to fry all of your goods without the addition all of your food items or food items that require frying without using oil so it uses air to fry it like i've heard about this product for so long and i've always wanted to get my hands on it and finally i have it in my kitchen and of course i'm going to be developing a lot of recipes with it so in it you can basically do a bunch of stuff you can fry a bunch of stuff with this on the carton it says you can make your fried chicken you can do some roasted vegetables you can do some steak, coconut shrimps, you can even bake your salmon in this. You can fry your chips, your yams, your plantains without the addition of oil. How awesome is that? It also comes with a recipe book that has over a hundred recipes in it. Like you guys, it's, it's really a mind-blowing something. Hold on, let me just get it out. Wow, this is a big one. So this is what it looks like. It's black. It's slick and it's just so pretty. You can see that it's still brand new. I think this is where you have the this is where you have all of the directions like the temperature, whatever you're about to fry. And I think this is where the actual frying is done. Hold on. Oh, so this is where the actual frying is done. You put all your items here or your yams or whatever it is you're gonna fry and then go ahead and fry. I'm just so excited about this one. It comes with a manual and it also has the recipe book, like I mentioned. This one I'm so excited to have because, like I said before, I am a big fan of eating healthy and it's a must have in your kitchen if you want to do away with oil, with using oil to fry your proteins and your yams and your chips and whatever. This is a must have in your kitchen. Again, like I said, I'm going to put a link in the description box down below how you can purchase one for yourself all right so that's that let's move on to the next one i forgot to mention that the air fryer actually comes with some accessories here you have a cake pan a skewer rack and five skewers you have metal a metal holder a silicone mat you have a pizza pan you have egg bites mode with lead like this a ton of stuff you can do with this air fryer and i'm not going to go into it into details um, but I tell you, it works magic. So the second item is my instant pot, guys. 
Okay, so this there's a story to this again. I've actually always wanted an instant pot because I have seen a lot of my favorite um, chefs online use it to create mouth-watering delicacies. And I also have seen how convenient it is to make lots of mouth-watering delicacies. And then I thought to myself, Winifred, you have to buy this instant pot. Amazingly, when I went on Amazon, it was actually really quite affordable. It wasn't expensive at all. So guys, before I purchased this, I did a lot of background check and I found out that this instant pot is multifunctional. It also doubles as a pressure cooker, a saute pan, a steamer, a slow cooker, a rice cooker, a food warmer, and a yogurt maker. <laughs> like, if that is not awesomeness in an appliance, I don't know what else is. It also has an easy seal lid. It seals automatically for pressure cooking, and then it has a one-touch cooking. So if you want to saute your stuff, instead of <laughs> you just press one button, it starts to saute. You press one button, it starts to pressure cook. You press one button, it's, it's slow cooks. Like, how awesome is that, guys? <laughs> That's the definition of awesomeness.com. I just knew that I had to have this. So I'm going to be using it a lot in my kitchen. I'm going to do a lot of recipe tests with it. And then as we proceed in the video tutorials that I'll be sharing, I'll be letting you guys know how useful this is and if actually you should spend your money and buy them. So I'm not, I haven't used it yet. You can see it's still brand new. <laughs> but as I use it, I'm going to let you guys know if it's something you should invest in. From what, is, from what I'm seeing already, I think it's something you definitely want to invest in. So, but allow me to do the trouble for you. Go through the stress of using it first of all, and then I'll come and show you guys. I'll come and let you guys know if it's actually something you should buy. So it comes with a card. It has um, a manual, and then this is what it looks like. It's actually really pretty, and it matches the theme of my kitchen. So yeah. Oh, oh, you guys, I'm so excited about this day. You have no idea how excited I am. Anyways, you shall get the trip. So, in subsequent video tutorials, I'll be letting you guys know if you should actually go ahead and purchase this, like I said before. But for now, let's put it away and move on to other items. Item I'm unboxing is this Kitchen Aid Hand Mixer. This is one item that I've always wanted for so long and I'm so glad that I, dec I decided to make this purchase. Now this makes blending so much easier and very convenient. Like you can literally use this to blend stuff directly from your pot or your jar or your container wherever you're blending. You don't have to transfer it to a blender and then turn it like nah. And it actually really works like magic. I have never used it before. Again, I'm going to say this. And so I'm going to be using it a lot in my recipe tests and of course my recipe video tutorials and I'll let you guys know if it's something you should invest in. But I think, yeah, this, this, is, this is something you should actually have in your kitchen. But I'll let you know as I use it to see if this brand is one you should use. So it comes with a removable blending arm, which is the thingy that actually does all the work. And then it has a handle, it has a bag, like a storage bag. It also has um, a, a cup, a free blending container. It has a whisk, it has another blending container. And so what you can do basically, you can blend with the containers or you can just use the stick to blend directly in your pot. I know I'm talking too much, but I would show you in subsequent videos what I mean. So yeah, I got myself a hand blender. And I'm super duper duper excited about this. Like I'm literally gonna rock this like a baby. Hi gorgeous, welcome home. Welcome home. <laughs> so I also got this milk bottles. So I'm a big big fan of smoothies, drinking smoothies, and I found out something. Whenever I make a smoothie in excess, when I store the, the excess one in the fridge, it lasts up to three or four days. It still tastes really fresh so I'm like okay so is there a way I can just make um, 
about three or four batches of smoothies and just store them up in the fridge and just grab them because sometimes even after you have prepped and stored all of them in the ziploc bags in the freezer if you've not watched that video you definitely want to watch it i'm going to put it down in the description box below so you can check it out the smoothie prep video it's a very helpful video but anyways back to what i was saying so instead of sometimes you can really get stressed but when you have to bring out your blender every morning and we do the whole blending process again you have to clear out the blender i'm like okay so why not make in a um, smoothie that's going to be enough for three or four days and store it up in a jar and voila that was where i discovered this milk jars that actually come with lids i bought them because they have, they have lids so now whenever i make my smoothies in excess or whenever i want to make a big batch of smoothie i can make them and store them in these jars and of course it comes in handy for when I'm also going to be storing, when I make my fruit juices. Usually I store my fruit juices in recyclable containers. But now I'm going to be storing my fruit juices here because actually really look really pretty as well. So imagine having the orange color of the carrots, the yellow color of the orange, the light yellow color of the pineapple, the golden color of the apple. You get what I mean? Like you just have it lined up in your fridge. This guys comes in super duper handy. So I'm definitely gonna be showing you guys what it looks like when I eventually start using them. So yeah, welcome to the family. <laughs> the next item I got, you guys, I need to talk about this item. You guys, out of everything that I bought on Amazon, this is my favorite. Do you want to know what is inside? So if you watch my videos for some time now, you will notice the very Raz chopping board that I use in chopping my vegetables. But that chopping board is an embarrassment to me and my kitchen. <laughs> and I've actually been looking for a good one. When the Hamatan season started in Nigeria, it got worse. Like the Hamatan literally destroyed that chopping board and literally broke some parts off. So I said, you know what? This is the time where I need to change it. And I went on Amazon and decided to search for the best chopping boards ever. And that's when I discovered this Home Hero chopping board. Now, the thing I like about this chopping board is that it's very organic. It's made with natural wood. It comes with a knife sharpener. It comes with a cleaner. And it comes with a, a bread knife. The color is beautiful and another thing I love about it is, hold on, let me just try and get it out, oh, wow, this is the bomb. Now it has two sides, one thing I like about it is it catches excess drippings, so when you're chopping things that have a lot of liquid in it, it will spill out to your countertop, it will just flow to the sides and then you can control it that way. And then if you turn to the other side, it also has a place where the, what, the liquid can spill out and you can also store some, as you chop it, you can move the things you're chopping to this side. And it's just so convenient. And the wood is actually organic, like it's made from natural wood. It's been treated already, although you can go, you can continue to treat it as you use it. It's so beautiful. The color is amazing. It's durable. It looks like something that's gonna last forever. And it's also something that you can actually give out as a gift to a friend or a family or whoever so this one i'm telling you is like my 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 actual newest latest baby because i'm so going to pamper this stuff welcome to the family guys i'm so glad you guys are finally here <laughs> Alrighty, moving right along okay 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 hold on hold on hold on I know I said the chopping boards were my favorite or my, uh, my favorite item or is my favorite item. <laughs> this one right here actually happens to be my favorite. I'm sorry, chopping board. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you see this cast iron pot, you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm getting emotional just unboxing this thing. Hold on, let me cry a bit. Let me. Let let me do a welcome, an emotional welcome party. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Hold on. Mm, let me suck it all in. Mm. Okay guys, so this cast iron pot, you guys, is literally a dream come true. I wanted to buy this in different sizes. 
But then when I checked the price, you guys, these things are so freaking expensive. So what I said to myself is I'm going to buy them one after the other. So I'll buy them, I'll buy, I'll, I'll buy the size now, I'll save up another two, two months, <laughs> buy another size or buy two more sizes, whatever. But I knew that I wanted to buy at least one of these. Now, these things, I don't know, works like magic. Like, one, it's... It, it, your food taste literally tastes better when you cook it with this pot. I'm not even joking because I've actually had food made in this pot before. It tastes way better. It doesn't burn. There's so many, so many, so much. Your heat is distributed evenly when you're cooking. So you, you will not have a problem with one part being burned or one part being cooked. Heat is distributed even, evenly because it's very heavy. Like the material, the metal used in making this thing I don't know, I don't know. Whoever, whoever, whoever thought about this, it's it's something that everybody should actually have in their kitchen. In fact, I'm gonna change all of my pot sets. I have I have really quality pot sets. I have pot sets that I've been using for over three years now, and they've been doing a good, pretty good job. But then having this um cast iron pot set in my house will literally change my cooking game and take it to a whole new level. It's one that you guys definitely would want to invest in. So I'm going to be doing a lot of my cooking with this pot right here. And the color, guys, the color actually fits the color of the delicious logo. Anyways, welcome to the family. Thank you for choosing me to be your mother. I love you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of cooking with this pot. So watch out for it, okay? Alrighty. So the next items I'm going to be unboxing are basically food photography items i want to take my food photography to the next level this year and so i got some props to help me with that these are just food photography props i got this backdrop there are two or three different um, backdrops rolled in one um it's more convenient instead of having the wooden backdrops that are very tacky and stressful to move about I also bought a table runner that comes in this raffia, raffia-like material. It works really well for food photography as well. I got this, um, like a raffia cloth as well. I also got this, oh, you guys, I'm so happy about this. I got this, um, hold on, let me just quickly open it up. I see that I'm not even opening any of the items here. I got this um, cutlery set in gold. Usually I have a gold fork but I have been looking for a, go a gold spoon and a go gold knife, a gold knife set and a teaspoon set and all and finally I found it on Amazon. So this is also going to come in handy for food photography and also for my regular everyday dining. I also got some table tablecloth. I got them in, green, in different shades of green color. These were like the finest I found. And then I also got this tablecloth. Yeah, I think it's a tablecloth. Yeah, a tablecloth. And this is also, hold on, let me just quickly grab, bring it out. Okay, yeah, it's also a food photography prop. So all these things, I'm gonna be using them for my food photography. You guys should watch out for some bump ass pictures. <laughs> I have a few more items here. This one is, um, yeah, it's a knife sharpener. So it's important that you invest in a really good knife sharpener. I've not used this one before. I'm gonna be using it. And of course, I'll be letting you guys know if it is something you should go ahead and purchase. If not, I would also say it as I go. Yeah, but I got a knife sharpener. Very, very handy kitchen tool. This one is, uh, what's this? Oh! This is one of my food photography props as well. This, <laughs> these are wooden spoons and forks, wooden cutlery. So imagine just laying that by the side of your the different dishes, especially when you're making um um local dishes. I think I also got hold on. I got a wooden yeah. I know I got a wooden charger here. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got some charger plates, which can also double as serving plates as well. These are really pretty. Imagine serving some nice rice, chicken, salad, your soup, stew, and whatever. Just go wild. So yeah. And then 
Next, what is this? I have no idea what this is. Hold on. Hold on. Oh! You guys, I'm a freak, I swear. <laughs> Remember I told you that I love smoothies, right? I don't like to, I like to sip my smoothie really pretty like a queen. Like you just hold the straw and just sip it. And I like very pretty straws. You don't find pretty straws in Nigeria. And so I decided to get a lot of straws in different shades and colors. Oh, so it comes in a pack of four and they're different colors, different shades. And imagine just sipping on life with the straws. Welcome home, beauties. <laughs> Alrighty, moving right along, we're almost done. The next items, I'm just gonna grab this one. Um, this looks like a seven. Oh yeah, this was also for food photography. They're just different colors of plates. There's the blue one, the peach. What color is this? I don't know. And the green. So that's that. In here I have Oh my god These <laughs> I remember buying these and I was like literally torn with what color thing to go with. I think they had these in red, like a red different red colors than red shades. This is these are different blue shades. So there is I think this is teal. This is dark blue. This is sky blue. Whatever. You guys should pardon me. I didn't learn colors in school. Okay. Whatever. This is um white. Just had different, different um, <laughs> different shades of blue. You guys. Imagine serving your cereal, your smoothie bowls, your even your food in this. And another reason I got this is. Was because of portion control you guys i'm a really big big fan of portion sizes and one tip and one trick that i use to control my portions is to use a small plate when i use a small plate to serve my food i don't take a lot of food and i'm satisfied with whatever i have in here after a period of time so yeah that's another reason i got these apart from the pretty colors and then because i know it's going to come in really handy for food photography so you definitely should actually invest in these and then you'll be seeing a lot of these in our video tutorials and last but not least this is glass jars but i don't know i don't remember buying glass jars but hold on let me just quickly open it up Oh, I'm a big fan of storage containers because I like my spices and stuff that I use in the kitchen very organized and I have lots of um, lots of um, storage containers but I recently discovered um, some brand uh, some spices that I'm going to sh be sharing with you guys in in, um, in the vi subsequent videos and that's why I decided to buy these mason jars now the reason I like I bought this particular brand is that they come with they come with um the lid and they also come with extra lid so the lid here has a straw container so you can actually put a straw and you can put a straw in in it and see and then it comes with an extra lid that doesn't have the straw hole so a lot of thought was put into the creation of this product so if i don't want to use it to sip out a drink or to sip out smoothie I can use it as a storage container with no hole so you have six jars you have six straws and you have 12 um 12 leads that's why i i bought this i remember wow so yeah so there you have it guys these are all the brand new kitchen items that i bought to upgrade my kitchen space i hope you guys enjoyed meeting my brand new babies like i said <laughs> While I was unboxing, I'm going to be putting a link in the description box below on where you can purchase all of this, a direct link, so you know the exact products and brands that I'm buying. And then I said, I'll be using all of these products in subsequent video tutorials. And then I'll be letting you guys know if it's actually really worth 
invest in him because yeah i want to make all the mistakes for you so that you do not make the mistakes at all okay all right guys i'll see you next time with another food video tutorial until then we to break one another love yourselves generously and take care